how to automatically highlight cells in Excel that contains a specific search term that you input, such as vitamin. And if I press enter here, as you guys can see, all those cells that contains vitamin within the cell is going to be automatically highlighted with this headwish color or any other color that you choose that you want to use here. And you can also change the term. You can also use all of those different columns that you have in your spreadsheet. It doesn't matter. The important thing is whenever you type any search term right here, all those cells that contain the search term is going to be automatically highlighted for you. Vitamin B12, multivitamin, vitamin K, and on and on. So step by step, let's find out how can we do it here in Excel. Let's go. The first thing that we need to have in order to create this conditional formatting to highlight specific cells, which we have the term, the word that we need to be highlighted, is to have a data set itself. From the data set, we can set the conditional formatting. And I can choose here any range. A small range like this one or i can select the entire column or i can select basically everything that i have literally i'm gonna choose let's say the entire data set that i have and then or before we select the entire data set and set the condition of formatting let me take here any blank cell to the right and uh, i'm gonna use the cell as my criteria for the thing that i want to highlight such as let's start with vitamin i want to highlight everything that contains this term this text so let me select now all those columns that i want to use and then home tab conditional formatting and excel has a lot of different options to choose here but i'm going to stick with the first one highlight cells rules and then text that contains of course you can also choose equal to but let's say as you can see over there I just input in the cell vitamin, the vitamin word. If there is nothing that is equal to vitamin, vitamin D is not equal to vitamin. Vitamin C, vitamin B12 is not equal to vitamin. So I can't use in this scenario equal to, but I need to use text that contains. That way, even though the vitamin is not the whole, the everything that I have within the cell, but it's part of the text. It's a term within the cell. So I'm going to choose this option, text that contains. And then I can set my criteria that is going to be inputted here. And also the highlight options, such as the color of the cell and also the color of the text font. I'm going to start with the criteria. Let me click inside this left bar. I'm going to delete everything that is within this bar. And then I'm going to click in the cell where I type in vitamin. And as you can see, everything now that contains the vitamin within the cell are being highlighted for me. And you can also choose another color, such as yellow or green or you can stick with the red one or you can also click here custom format to create your own design for the cells such as the color font i can use let's say a white one with a bold style and as the fill i can use maybe a head one like this and okay okay again and i mean i'm done whenever now i type in here anything the conditional formatting is going to check if this term this word that i type in here matches with anything that I have within the cell. If so, it's going to be highlighted with this headwish color. And if not, else is not going to be highlighted. And as I select everything to use in the condition of formatting, I can also change vitamin that is in the column C product to the brain. So let's say I want to know everything that is equal to the brain A001. Or actually, instead of equal to something, I want to check how many vitamins products that are from the brain A. So I can input here maybe A, O, O, and then enter. And as you can see, everything now that is from brand A, doesn't matter if it's A1 or A2, is going to be automatically highlighted for me. So this is how we can use conditional formatting in Excel to help us visualize the data at a glance in a faster way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.